I've been using Keyshot to visualize my product designs for years, and I've found that it's not just about the final image of the final concept. I use Keyshot throughout my design journey to ensure the form and colors work under different lighting environments. I realized that different backgrounds could drastically affect the look of a product. Whether LED strip lights in a store or natural light coming through your window at home, making sure your design looks perfect in every scenario can help with your final concept. But let's not forget that time is money. If you're constantly designing something and then rendering and then going back and tweaking it, setting up a new scene, that can be time consuming and inefficient. So that's why I use Keyshot. It lets me set up a scene and then keep everything locked in so I can compare design iterations. And then when I have the final concept, it lets me quickly take those scenes and dial it up to 11 to get a sweet, sweet render for press release. Keyshot gives me the freedom of creating any environment and saves time when compared to traditional photography. Needing to set up a studio, lighting and cameras in the real world can be inefficient especially when you may need to photograph five products, each with 10 different color variants. I am no mathematician, but that's 50 images already. And we might even need multiple angles of each product. Keyshot allows me to manage all of these images seamlessly, and we'll be going through exporting batches later in this course. For speed purposes, we'll be focusing on models that other people have made. Whether you make your own model, use someone else's, or include a mixture of both, the rendering process is the same. The websites I check for models are, and this is usually when I hear students finally take out their notebooks and start writing, Dimensiva, TurboSquid, CG Trader, Polygon with two eyes, and My Mini Factory. Each site has a range of free and paid models for you to choose from. If you're just starting out, I'd recommend only going for the free models. There's no point in spending heaps of money if you're unsure of anything. There's no shame in using existing models. It saves a lot of time, and why would you model everything you need in a scene if it's just a few clicks away online? But before we jump into Keyshot and start mashing buttons, let's chat about what makes a good image. First, we'll learn about the theory as a foundation, and then we'll build on that in Keyshot later on. I know if you're anything like me, hearing the word theory makes you super bored super quick, but Believe me when I say the next few episodes will be so worth it and save you heaps of time instead of trial and error renders in Keyshot. 